हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल क्लियर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑफ एंटीजेनिसिटी एज यू ऑल नो एंटीजेंस दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच एंटर्स इनटू द ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड इंड्यूस द इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स और दे कैन एक्टिवेट द बी सेल्स और टी सेल्स द एरियाज व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द एंटीजन व्हिच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल for binding with the immunoglobins they are known as antigenic determinants or the epitopes so each and every antigen has specific epitope or antigenic determinants the factors which are influencing the immunogenicity they are number 1 foreignness the antigen must be a foreign substance to the animal to show the immune response that is all those organisms who are more tox- taxonomically apart are more foreign for example the organism which belongs to mammals they are foreign to the organisms which belongs to birds molecular size the molecular size of immunogen must be more than 10000 dalton if it has to induce the immunological response so if the size is small it will not induce immunogenicity so most active immunogens tend to have a molecular mass of 14000 to 6 lakhs daltons for example tetanus toxoid agalbumin thyroglobulin are highly antigenic because they have got great molecular mass whereas insulin having a molecular mass of 50 uh, 700 dalton is either non antigenic or weakly antigenic third point chemical nature of the antigen in general more complex substances are more immunogenic antigen are mainly proteins some are polysaccharides also lipids they are less antigenic it is presumed that the presence of aromatic radical is essential for rigidity and antigenicity of a substance next is the physical form of antigen all the particulate antigens are more immunogenic than soluble ones secondly the denatured antigens are more immunogenic than the native one so we can say that if the antigen is proteinaceous it is more immunogenic then if it is lipid it is less immunogenic next point is antigen specificity antigen specificity depends upon specific active sites on the antigenic molecule that is one antigen has a specific epitope which binds with the immuno globin antigenic determinants or epitopes are the region of antigen which specifically binds with antibody molecule next is species specificity tissues of all individual in a particular species possess specific antigen human blood proteins can be differentiated from animal protein by specific antigen antibody reaction then is organ specificity organ specific antigens are confined to particular organs of the tissue for example certain proteins of brain kidney thyroglobin and lens proteins of one species share specificity with the another species next is auto specificity autologous or self antigens are ordinarily not immunogenic but under certain sub- circumstances for example lens protein thyroglobin and other may act as auto antigen then is the genetic factor some substances are immunogenic in one species but not in another similarly some substances are immunogenic in one individual but not in the other maybe one is responder another is non responder so it all depends upon your genetic makeup the species or individual may lack or have altered genes that code for receptors for antigen on b cells and t cells they may not have the appropriate gene needed for antigen presenting cell to present antigen to the helper t cell so genetic factor is 
very important next is the age age also influences the immunogenicity the younger one the older one they have less ability to elicit the immune response in response to the immunogen or antigen then is degradability antigens they are which are easily phagocytosed are generally more immunogenic this is because most antigen t dependent antigens the development of immune response requires that the antigen may be phago phagocytosed processed presented to t helper cells by antigen presenting cell next point is the dose of the antigen the dose of administration of immunogen is also influencing the immunogenicity there is a dose of antigen above or below which the immune response will not be optimal then is the route of administration generally the subcutaneous route is better than the intravenous and intragastric route the route of administration can also alter the nature of response as you know antigen administered intravenously is carried first to the spleen whereas antigen administered subcutaneously move first to the local lymph nodes next is adjuvant substances that can enhance the immune response to immunogen are known as adjuvant the use of adjuvant however often hampered by undesirable side effects such as fever and inflammation for example aluminum hydroxide so adjuvant they increases the immune response of the antigen and even the amount of antigen required for the vaccine is also less thereby cutting the cost of the vaccine so adjuvants they are also very important part so these are 14 factors which are influencing the immunogenicity i hope the concept is clear to you thank you